Hey everybody, this is Steve at Open Bomb, and I'd like to introduce to you in this video some exciting new changes to our in our March 2020 release of Open Bomb for NetSuite, and particularly the ability to upload a multi-level build material directly into NetSuite with one click. So let's get started. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, I've I've got a model opened in uh, in OnShape, and I've used the Open Bomb integration for uh, for OnShape to build a uh, build of material. An open bomb build material right inside on shape. So here I'm sitting in the on shape uh, uh, editor. I'm looking. I've got the open bomb tab uh, activated, and here is the open bomb build material. And as you can see, I used the multi-level option when I created this, so we have an indented uh, build material inside of uh, inside of uh, open bomb. So okay, let's uh, let's continue. I'd like to jump over to uh, NetSuite. I've signed into my NetSuite account. We took note of the part number for the top level assembly over there. I happen to know that it's LGA-100. So within NetSuite, I'm going to go ahead and create a new bill of material. And I'm going to choose LGA-100 and click on the engineering tab. That takes us to the OpenBOM sign-in where Sorry. There we go. What's going on there? Password will sign into OpenBob through NetSuite integration. Okay, yeah, so what, uh, what's happening now is in within NetSuite we are extracting that information from um, from OpenBOM, and we're opening OpenBOM right in the Net, NetSuite integration. So we can see that I'm still running the NetSuite integration. In the, in the engineering tab, I've got OpenBOM running, and we've loaded that bill of material, that multi-level bill of material. We can switch to multi-level here, of course, and see that. See that, in fact, this is definitely a multi-level bill of material. So we are looking at the top level. We've got LGA100 open. Um, within NetSuite, we've already set up some, uh, we've already kind of mapped our properties. And then that option is right here where we set up where we want, you know, part number and, and quantity and other uh, pieces of information about thumbnail images and things, where we want those to go in NetSuite. We usually just kind of set that up one time, but once it's done, we create our manufacturing bomb in NetSuite. What's happening now is that the NetSuite, the open bomb for NetSuite integration is going through and reading each item in the list, determining if it's a part or a subassembly, and then um, and then building that structure and bringing all the metadata for each one of those individual parts. What's new in March is that we're building a multi-level build material right inside of NetSuite from a multi-level bomb, from open bomb. So we get a nice message here at the end about how many items and subassemblies <clears throat> have been updated or modified. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and jump over to my accounting area where I get to set up my, my tax schedule. That's very much a very much a NetSuite thing, and we're going to save this multi-level bill of material. There we go. So we just saved the LGA 100 in NetSuite. Let's go ahead and edit that. Take a look at the manufacturing tab. This will be the interesting part. And we'll see these are all the components that came in from OpenBOM and ultimately came across from our CAD system, in this case, uh, on shape. So anything that's marked with a part, of course, is a part, and anything that is not is an assembly. Let's take a look at this external arm assembly in particular. We know that that, uh, that that came over with multiple levels, and we see now that in NetSuite we have created an assembly bill of material for the external arm assembly, which came directly from, from Onshape. So, so anyway, to, to wrap this up, we designed a, uh, a multi-level uh, structure in our CAD system. We reviewed it uh, in, uh, in OpenBOM. We could have made changes and added additional information if we if we wanted to, and then we use the 
new integration to load that into uh, into NetSuite and load that as and save it as a multi-level bill material. So um, that's an awesome new March 2020 improvement. I hope you've enjoyed this. We always like hearing from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks, everyone.